too bad I ruined this package, but for testing purposes, we gotta do this. Gotta do what you gotta do. Hi, welcome back to 2022. And today's video is the fresh series where we are gonna be doing reviews and today's review is we are reviewing one of the world's smallest knives this is the spiderco grasshopper knife and talking about grasshopper to take a grasshopper power to open this up the package is not user friendly in case you're new here make sure you subscribe to this channel we do a lot of video reviews here my name is Sorry kiss them over and we check out things for you to get so you don't have to waste your money on some junk so today's video is the grasshopper knife comes in this really small little package it is very small it is tiny the size of this miniature knife comes from spiral is one of the most awesome knives and it has this unique feature that only spiral knives most of them patented and have it it is the one hand famous opening which is impossible nearly to do with this knife without actually going to the emergency room so don't even try it because this is so small and not really that great when it comes to one hand opening now another knife you're going to be checking out head to head with this is the garble knife and this one is one of those cheap garble knives that yeah it doesn't come with this and it works exactly like this it's good but you know, for nine bucks, it is total junk. But the question is, would this total junk of this garbo compare to the grasshopper knife? Let's find out in this video review and see which one is the better knife, which one is the winner, and which one should you be getting. At the end of this video, we're going to be do the doing the winner is and who gets the thumbs down. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the spider core. The grasshopper edition this is the smallest one of the smallest micro versions of the spider core knives which are some of my favorites and i'm gonna go head to head with the garbo they're about the same exact size this is the package it comes with so the first thing if you did enjoy this channel make sure you sub to it and subscribe and this one of the package comes to be about two grams like that Unboxing, you can see how it actually looks like. The knife itself is also about two, so the package almost weighs next to nothing. And the next thing we're going to be doing is checking out its size. So overall it's about almost for five inches and the blade itself is about two inches and now if you compare this to the garbo they're almost identical so they are really i think this is just the spider coin so to garbo with about the same exact knife here but the question is which one is the better one of course this one is cheap for 10 bucks this one comes a little bit expensive on a toady but is it worth the extra money let's find out so first of all with being used a lot i really am not satisfied with the garble knife over here not only this thing is not good the blade is kind of really cheap and pretty bad it doesn't really cut things as well as i wanted to and you can see the marks all over this thing it is really pretty bad what I do like about the garbo is that it looks kind of cool and it folds very easily as well but that's not the only cool thing about this the cool thing about the garbo is that when you close it it is a fixed blade and it locks in place and that's a good thing press over here it unlocks it and here we go on the other hand, this one right here, the downsides of this is the following. One, it's not made in USA. 
It's actually made in China. I doubt. Some of them are made in USA, the better quality one. Two. I will show you. It does snap in place just right here, but there is no fixed blade snap to this. There is no lock in place, what I mean. It makes it a little bit dangerous, especially if you accidentally do it with this. It will go in. When you have the lock place in the knife, once you have it in open position, it's not going to accidentally snap back on your hand unless you unlock the lock over here. So that's an added safety mechanism that the gob will have and this one doesn't. If you can live without this extra safety mechanism, the big question is, is this good or not? So let's go ahead and do a testing. It's pretty dual. I mean, it does cut. It doesn't really do much. Now, Gabo. More easily marks the territory. It cuts really be much better. And it doesn't leave any marks on the actual knife. Like the previous one, which actually did. And this is just cardboard. You can see that. not really doing much of a job. Now, that's awesome. Did you just see that? Look at how direct the cut was. Try through this. This shows how bad the blade is. Yeah, I had to use twice as much force, if not three times, to get this to do the same exact thing. have to put a lot of pressure in order for this to do that. This. Easily slices this like butter. <laughs> Let's do a stabbing. Nothing completes the test anymore than having a hands-on package ripping. So let's go ahead and rip this package apart with the knives and figure out which is the better knife for us to use. So the first one is this. This is the Garbo. It's not bad because this thing is not the good thing to cut, but this one out. See, it's not really that great, the cowboy knife. Yes, it slices, it dices, but it's not really sharp. This is the biggest drawback of the gobble. On the other hand, this spider core Goes in like butter right inside here. Now, too bad I ruined this package, but for testing purposes, we gotta do this. Gotta do what you gotta do. You see how easily it slices the whole package up. This is what you wanna see in a knife. I have no resistance, I'm easy for you to use, sharp right off the bat, and the gobble fails in that. It does have an extra one safety feature that is good for it, but it is missing the spider core feature, which is the blade. Nothing else is important in a knife but the blade itself. Blade and safety.
blade come first, safety comes actually next because blade makes it very safe. A bad blade makes a very bad knife. And the third thing is to close it up. You want the knife to be able to close easily. With the garble, you gotta snap this thing right here. And it gives you an extra step to hold yourself. Supposedly it's an extra feature, like you, you can actually do one hand, one finger. I always say one, one hand, but it's actually one finger thing. You're supposed to pull this thing and you can get it out. It's really, would work really well. But we have a problem here. Because the notch is so small, it's hard for us to get a grip on this and to flick it open. Not to say this is not going to give us the same exact trouble. I mean, technically, yeah, you can grab this and you can open this up. But it also, the amount of force and everything that you put in here, and if this snaps right back at you, it can actually cut you. So this is the biggest issue I have with this knife, but I still decided I'm actually going to keep this. Because of the spiral cord, it forced you, ah, I'm not sure I want this knife. The price is expensive. This knife is expensive. This is not a cheap knife. But after you use it, you're like, wow, this thing is amazing. It's small, it's delicate, it's cool. And look what you can do. Try to do this with that. Now, it could be good as a safety feature, but at the same time, you have to go through it, press over here, and snap it right back in. So because of that, we are changing the rating. This gets a 9 star. And this gets a 7. The thing is between both of those knives is that I used to be a Cutco salesman a long time ago. I'm more familiar with knives and uh, this the safest knife is the one that cuts. That cuts easily. Most dangerous knives are the ones you have to use force for them to cut. So this is pretty dangerous knife. It is cheaper. It's also gonna get you in the emergency room just as fast because it is cheap. Cheap knives are dangerous. They're not good for you. You're less likely to cut yourself with inexpensive knives. Now, second thing about knives is that they should be able to easily close and open. That's the second thing that makes them super extremely dangerous. It's hard for me to recommend this knife because it is already overpriced and it's missing the lock function that is a safety feature that is missing in here. I don't know why they decided to go without this. It's supposed to be for one hand opening. It's kind of really hard for you to do the one hand with this because it is so small and you can see that it snaps right back into place when you're trying to do the one hand and it's resisting for me to try it so I don't recommend for you to do this because I'm have to use extra force for me to try to do this and because of that I'm afraid it's gonna snap back in as I'm trying to go ahead and open this with one finger with this one finger opening in the blade itself so this is another minus on this because it doesn't let you do this with one finger. In case of an emergency you have to have really one finger to use, this is not going to get you that done. You have to use two hands for this to open. So that's another minus about this. So like 8 star out of 10 because of that. The most spiracles you can open without that at all. You can just use one over here. I'll show you this one for example. Now, it opened. Just flick that open. Easy open, easy close. This one, easy open, easy close, yes. But not one thing. Flick and open. Doesn't have the frigid fun factor to this at all. Which is just a shame. Other than that, 
it's cool i like it i like the mini size here it's much better blade quality in terms of looks it is stealth it is nice looking comes in a nice presentation box as well i would say it's an it's an eight out of ten i'm gonna give this to the gift to somebody but i really would recommend the bigger ones instead so think about what you're going to be using it for for the slim size and the smallness of it it's really cool but would this replace the garble garbage that i have i don't think so and that's only because really there's a few things that i dislike about this thank you so much for getting all the way to the end of this video and who is the winner i bet you couldn't wait to get to this part well in terms of money in terms of practicality in terms of safety features i would say garble is actually the winner although it is really a junk knife the only thing i would give the minus for this one and why this gets only a seven star rating out of ten is because the blade is just so dull it is so bad and it becomes one of those trash knives it does work it does its job practically it hardly passes when it comes to cutting but in terms of looks in terms of money in terms of safety features and in terms of right here you can see you can put this right on your blade or i mean you can put this um, in your jeans or something it does have this thing right in the back which is kind of cool so yeah it is the winner not because by choice but this one this one is just cool in terms of cool factor in terms of looks in terms of everything but safety in terms of its cutting plow this gets i would say a 7 out of 10 as well well i don't know if i rated that i think i downgraded just a little bit but you know what the biggest fall of this the biggest thing that i hate about this knife is its lack of safety features two of those which are essential why you shouldn't be getting this knife number one is that it's not the famous spider coat one hand opening it's impossible for you to do this without actually putting your whole hand at risk of getting cut two it doesn't have when you open this up the lock factor that makes it stay closed until you have to go ahead and close it so it doesn't stay closed and because of that it fails with the safety rating and therefore it fails as the knife so would i recommend this no because of safety failure other than that it makes a cool little gift it looks kind of cool as well and it's just a shame because this is a very good company and a good knife but they missed the entire point which is the safety feature and therefore i cannot recommend it and i gave it a thumbs down so there's going to be a link right down below where you can get this in amazon in case you do want this or if you want to get the competitor to this which is the garble knife going to be a link to that as well thank you so much for watching please sub to this channel watch it and see you in the next video of the geek tech show